octopus or squid like so many several times in a row as on this trip it's like a main food source good morning and welcome back to i think the third greek vlog um today we're in santorini and it is much more pleasant let me just uh, spin you around a little bit a lot less people last night it was so busy and um well, oh my god we arrived first and look within minutes this is all filled up um but we're hoping to be able to see more of the island and less of the back of people's heads today it really is so overcrowded here uh, when you get a little bit of peace and quiet like after dinner last night we were walking around it was lovely it was so much more pleasant and then during peak hours so many people come in on tour buses and stuff and it's just not quite the experience that I imagined that it would be given that Santorini is so popular and everybody loves it here. I'm hoping that it will be less crowded today so we can actually get around and see more. You got me feeling kind of crazy You got me feeling like my head is spinning around The way you look is so amazing, amazing I could stare into your eyes for hours and hours Everything is kind of hazy just dancing in the dark in the flashing lights I know you can't hear what I'm saying, I'm saying So I'm just gonna hold you closer You take me higher when we're together It feels like you set my whole world on fire I know I want you, I know I need you here The things we do for Instagram I was just sat on this ledge because of you! Even now, it's much quieter. I thought that it would get busier, but no, it's, I, I definitely think that there's a time to stay out of this area and it's like sunset peak hours. We have just arrived at a vineyard and a winery. I'm really excited. I've never been to a vineyard before. We're going to find out how they make wine. We're going to do a wine tasting and have some lunch. Every time I'm going out, the same things keep happening. New boys, same tricks. Coming close, coming now. Trying to be smooth, so here we go again. Here we go again. You're trying to Look at this. So this is where we're going to go and sit and have lunch. We've just kind of had a little look around the winery quickly and then we're going to do the tasting and stuff. But wow. Yeah. But I don't think we've had a better thing than this lunch. Octopus or squid. Like Ooh, so many several times in a row as on this trip. It's like a main food source. I'm so tired right now. We just got back to the boat, the ship. Um, and we've got about an hour and a half and then we've got to go to this like cocktail hour and um, dinner. But I'm hoping that we can do all of that earlier than planned in schedule so that we can come back to the room early because I've not been getting to sleep until like half past two. We've been out for half past eight, nine o'clock every single day and I am absolutely exhausted. I've just been trying to cram in work as much as possible to make myself feel like this is a work trip. Um, but they have scheduled us to the absolute max and it's just not really working for me. So I've been just too tired. So today, my plan is to get as much sleep as possible tonight so that tomorrow and the funny thing is tomorrow we've actually got loads of time in the ship um so i've kind of come to that conclusion too late in the trip but god absolutely exhausted but santorini was much more pleasant today the winery tour was amazing something i would not necessarily have done i mean it still didn't top the milos boat trip uh, which if you didn't see that vlog go and check it out because although i haven't edited it at this point yet um the the boat was just absolutely incredible but the, the winery was really good Santorini on a whole is very very nice but still Milos has my heart for more reasons than one 
but it was just such a beautiful island. Um, and Santorini, I think, is, although beautiful, so saturated with uh, people coming in and tourism and it's just you don't really appreciate it in the same way that you do the quieter islands. We haven't even been in half the ship yet. There's a casino. We haven't even found it yet. Stage, musical instruments. Huh. So we've been to get changed. Um, we had a little bit of time in the room and now we're going to the... What is it called? The ca captain's, captain's Cot House. Art hour party, I don't know, um, something fancy. So we've tried to be a little bit more dressy. We didn't really have anything more dressy, so <laughs> tried to, she's wearing a prom dress. I'm wearing a linen dress, but I tried to up the makeup a little bit to uh, give it a more dressy vibe. We've just been to the disco for hours. It was so much fun. We also did a little bit of karaoke. We did Titanic. My heart will go on. Celine Dion may have been in bad taste but it was fun um and we have an early morning so i mean it's midnight so this is an early night that i had for a while uh, but i wanted to show you what they did with my bed tonight i'm pretty sure i showed you yesterday is this adorable or what they've made a like a rabbit or a dog is a dog it's a dog right with towels it's pretty cute morning we've woken up in crete just hanging out in reception waiting for everyone and um i'm not sure what we're going to do today but it's just a short one i think it's just the morning and then we come back to the ship for most of the day to actually kind of see what's around because we haven't really spent a lot of time on board we were young and we were free and running never bothered about what could be coming so today we are in um, a Minoan palace. It's very interesting to me because, fun fact, I used to do, or I did a GCSE in ancient civilizations. What was it called? Classical civilizations when I did it, uh, which is like Greeks and Romans and mythology and all that stuff. So as we've gone along, there's little things that I'm like, I remember that from like 15 years ago. Um, but it's been really interesting so far. It's one of the things that I have to say I wouldn't necessarily have gone on. Uh, one of the excursions that I wouldn't have chosen um, because it is more historical and you know you know uh, but it's really interesting really fascinating to me so far they've talked a lot about um, how after fires all of the buildings were recreated from carvings and like they've tried to mimic what they could what they imagined things looked like so because there'd been loads of fires there was very little wood and they painted stone pillars and things to look all I think it was columns they painted I'll show you I'll show you so the white parts here like the structure whatever you would call that that originally would have been wood and they didn't have wood so they made them out of stone and they painted them to look like wood and the grain is still there like the painted grain I think that's amazing and then these kind of columns here originally apparently I don't know whether or not they know this or it's what they imagined um, would have been upside down trees which is why they are conical why they're like in that position and they would always paint them red or black and so when it was recreated um they painted them but they obviously were made out of stone it's just little things and like they purified the water using pillars and it's a lot more interesting than i imagined that it would be is what i'm saying so if you get the opportunity to do something like this or this i would still do it and we've got a museum tour later on which i'm super excited about because it's boiling outside and all the aircon involved so this is a model of the ruins that we're just in the palace this is like um, they've created a model so you can see how it would have looked. And it's so detailed. We, we can kind of like step by step and show everywhere that we just were, including um, there's like a theatre. Apparently, it's the oldest theatre ever, like ever discovered, um, and it's the what would then have become the amphitheatres in Greece and Rome. Uh, but it's amazing. There's a necklace that we're decorated with tiny tiny droplets of gold she said it was like a quarter of a teardrop I think she said but they can't understand to this day how they did it um, and then we just saw a draft board or a chess board whatever um, like a game so so much detail ice cream break so we are in Old Town where are we Old Town the Old Town Heracleion but I think I've said that wrong so this is this is Sophie the historian who I'm going to be linking to to any actual information um, but we are quite excited. I thought it was a TGF Fridays. Um, we are kind of strolling around, doing a little tour of the town, and then we're going to head back to the bus. But it is hot, hot, hot. Ice cream was needed. Since we came back to the ship, we've just been hanging out and doing some work in one of the little bars. Now, because we realise if we go home 
home. If we go back to the room, cabin, uh, for a nap before dinner, we're not gonna have any more time on the ship really. We're gonna have a little wander around, take some pictures, and I thought I would show you as we go. So this is one of the buffet areas. This is pretty much the only one we've been into. So the food is served in here. And then you can either sit in this dining room, which tends to be a bit busier, or over there. The outside deck, I think I showed you before. So that's where we've got the pool. It's not a massive pool, but we've never even needed to be in it because we've been out so much. And then this opens up. So it closes up, obviously. Opens up, closes up. It closes up um, at night time. And in the daytime, it opens up. So it's like an outdoor pool. Looks like there's a barbecue for dinner. There's a spa on board. In actual fact, I could have gone for a massage, but I ran out of time. More than the massage, I kind of wanted to go for some reflexology because we have walked so far. My feet feel like they're gonna drop off. Um, but it is available. They do, they do teeth whitening. They do some like crazy stuff all on board. This is awesome. We've never actually been in this room. All of this time, we didn't even know this room was here. Um, it's a massive stage. Is there a show? I think there is tonight actually. We could go. We should go. Before the disco. More stage show money type stuff. Um, and then this is another lounge. They're doing origami and paper crafts. This is the restaurant that we've been eating in um, when we've been. Oh no, this is not the restaurant we've been eating in. This is the We've fine never dining been in this restaurant. <laughs> um, this is a fancy restaurant. This is the fine dining restaurant apparently. Are we supposed to go in here at some point? I don't know. Maybe we don't belong in that. We've been going to a different restaurant. <laughs> we've just realised we were supposed to have lunch in that fancy restaurant and we completely forgot we went somewhere else. So this is the sports bar where we've spent a lot of our time and it's kind of hidden. Um, we haven't seen a tremendous amount of people in here. We have just been sitting at this table working, been like a conference table practically. But again, there's a stage if they were to put on a show. And it's just a bit more casual. We've also got some like felt tables so you can play cards. So we're about to get up to the... Whoa! That was your computer. This is the shop that I've only been in once because um, it, it's closed when we're at shore because it's duty free, so it can only actually be operational when we're away. Ooh, loud. Um, so that's the duty free shop, and here's the reception. We meet here every morning for our excursion. Now we're going to take you to our restaurant that we actually went to, and look, look at all the tables. Look at all the tables. Look at all the tables. That's our table. Our table's the only one that's reserved. We're feeling very special. Even when we're not here, they reserve it for us. We're basically royalty. And next, we're gonna take you to our favorite bar. The sea is looking pretty dry today. There's Crete out in the distance, which we've barely seen. Um, it was a much more, I didn't, I don't know what I expected. I haven't, I didn't know anything about Crete. It was just like a, an actually built up city. So very different to the other islands that we've seen. Um, and more, just kind of like a town. They had shops and, the regular stuff that you might see in any European town, really. Um, but the historical stuff we saw was great. It's just we didn't see much of the rest of Crete. This is the bar we spent most of our time in. It's like an outdoor bar. Weirdly, that hot tub just past Sophie over there is hot. Very hot. And it's warm. You kind of almost want it to be like a cold jacuzzi. So this is it. This is where we've had many of our ill-fated drinks. But the view from the bar when we're at sea much nicer or at least you know when we haven't got like all of this stuff in front of us and this is the hallway to our cabins and you've already seen my room in the first vlog i am done in now i think i'm gonna take a shower wash my hair and have a little nap because it's a couple of hours now till dinner and i just have not got enough sleep on this holiday i've been this sounds ridiculous but i've been like randomly crying about st stuff that's not actually sad you know like i don't mean like crying crying but like stuff on Twitter where you see something that's like oh and I'm like this is so sad. I saw uh, a Twitter post of a girl you may have seen this because it's probably gone viral at this point um, a Twitter post of a girl that got Mean Girls tickets and her mum videoed her telling her she had Mean Girls floods I think I'm tired it's possibly heat possibly a little bit homesick but I think it's tiredness so I'm gonna get, take a little bit of a nap now um, and then we will reconvene at dinner time may I introduce you to the most flattering lighting in the world. I tried to nap, I really did. I think I might have got 35 minutes, um, but now I feel even groggier than I did before. So I'm dressed. I also did a little bit of packing because tomorrow we're out all day, like 12 hours, can't come back to the ship because the ship goes to Turkey and leaves us in Samos, um, which I just looked up and it looks beautiful. Fingers crossed for another day like Milos because I mean, it's never gonna be as good because the boat was like unreal. Um, but hopefully it's gonna be another kind of hidden gem in the trip. Um, for kind of like a highlight at the end. Um, 
but yeah, I wanted to get a little bit of packing done because I thought full day tomorrow and then the next morning we would leave. So it's just come around so quickly. The first couple of days I felt like we'd been here forever and I was really homesick and just like, mm. and now, although I'm obviously not sad to go home, um, it feels like it's just like, oh, and now it's over. Look at that sunset that we almost missed. We're setting off from Crete now, apparently. Didn't even realize, but we are moving pretty fast. I thought I would uh, come out and see what it looked like and wow, that is a sky.